Hi everyone, my name is Celeste. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing a flip through or a curriculum review of the gauze design for chemistry and ecology book series. Um, we are using this this year with two of my boys. Last year, we also used another book from the gauze design series, which is God's Design for Human Life. This was a study of anatomy that we really enjoyed last year. So we wanted to go ahead this year and continue with the chemistry. So the God's Design curriculum is created by Anderson Genesis and it's a complete series of four Four different um, types so they have God's design for life for chemistry and ecology for the physical world and I think for earth and space if I'm not mistaken so I'll insert a picture of all of the books they have but in every single book series or topic there are three books that go along with that so in this video I'm going to show you a look inside the chemistry and ecology book series Okay, so this is a look inside the gauze design for science chemistry and ecology curriculum. This um, curriculum is designed with three parts. Um, so we have the properties of matter, which is the first part, properties of atoms and molecules. And then there's a third book that's properties of ecology. I do not have that book. I'll insert a picture of it now so you can take a look at it. Um, so, but the curriculum is designed to do all three books within one year, but I decided just to take the chemistry portion of the course, just these two books, and then be able to split it out and kind of um, throughout the school year. So I'm going to show you a look inside the student books, um, the teacher supplements, as well as um, some additional worksheets and tests that come with the curriculum. Okay, so this is the properties of atoms and molecules and the properties of matter book. Um, each subject comes in a separate workbook. This is the answers in Genesis um, gauze design curriculum. There is also a version of the same curriculum by master books. And in that version, they actually have all three topics. So atoms and molecules matter as well as the ecology book all together in one big thick um, book. So if you'd prefer to have all of it in one book, you can also check out the master books version of this curriculum. So we're gonna take a look inside how this is set up so you can get a sense of how the lessons are laid out and how this curriculum is designed. So the first book is the properties of atoms and molecules. So if you look on the front cover, the first thing it says is there are, that there are downloadable resources available that go along with this. This includes the worksheets, the quizzes, and the tests. So it's a free download that comes with the curriculum and I'll be showing you a look inside those worksheets and tests. I will say that the master books version of this curriculum includes that already printed out for you. So if you don't want to print, um, print it out yourself, that is an option as well. Okay, so um, this curriculum is designed for ages three to eight. So that's one thing I really like about this. I'm using this curriculum with my seventh grader and my fifth grader, so my older two boys. And I'll show you kind of how they designed it and structured it so that you're able to use it with multiple grade levels. So there are seven units in this um, atoms and molecules books. They are atoms and molecules. Unit two is elements. Unit three is bonding. Unit four is chemical reactions. Unit five is acids and bases. Unit six is biochemistry. Unit seven is applications of chemistry. So those are all of the seven units that are covered. And I'm, to, I'm planning to work with this book for the first half of the year. We're doing science three days a week, and then we'll be using the properties of matter for the second half of the year, also doing science three days a week. All right, so this is just the first page. It says, welcome to God's design for chemistry and ecology. It explains how it's set up. So for third to fifth grade, they tell you you are to read the lesson. And then they have these different icons. So they have the beaker, which are activities. They have this little brain icon, which is like, what did we learn questions? They have a little rocket ship for taking it further. And so those are all the portions that you would do with third to fifth grade. Up here for sixth to eighth grade, they show you that you will do all those three sections, but in addition, they have an additional ribbon. That number one ribbon is a challenge section that is designed for the older students. So in my case, I have a fifth grader and a seventh grader. So my fifth grader will do all of these, and then many times my seventh grader, I will have him do the challenge section. Okay, so I wanted to show you a couple of the lessons and kind of how they are set up inside the curriculum. 
So this is lesson two. The topic is Adam's basic building blocks. And I will say we started using this curriculum this past week um, and we've done the first three lessons. And this lesson we actually did yesterday and the boys really enjoyed it. Um, it was a really fun time as we talked about the atoms and the different parts of the atom. So um, this is the lesson. So the lessons, one thing I will say, they are not long. They are very short, pretty much a page, two pages max, um, but it, it really packs a lot of great information um, and it's very clear in the way that it's laid out. Once they read the lesson, and again, we read it together, I have each of them read a portion, then we talk about what did we learn. Um, you can choose whether you'd like your child to have a notebook and do these written out. We choose to have this as a discussion. So we will talk about it, I'll ask them the questions, and um, we'll talk about those topics. Um, this is the taking it further section um, that they all do. Again, we, those are additional um, discussion questions that we always do together. And then here is one of the activities. Many of these activities are in the form of either worksheets, um, which I'll be showing you in a bit, or also they could be experiments. There are a lot of great experiments within this curriculum um, that also are included in that activity sheet. So. The boys did coloring the parts of the atoms, so coloring the electrons, coloring the protons, the neutrons, um, and so they did that worksheet. And then my oldest son, my seventh grader, also did this additional worksheet which talked about energy levels. So he read this portion independently and then did an additional worksheet, um, which is great because it challenges your older students, which is how um, it allows you to use it with multiple grades. So that is lesson two. All right, going about halfway down into the book, um, into lesson 20, this is another lesson to give you an idea. It's set up in the same way. This is on endothermic and exothermic reactions. Um, so it has always words to know, some challenge words, and then the lesson. So again, you'd read the lesson. This is the entire lesson. Again, very short, not long lessons, um, but it gives time to be able to then go a little deeper and talk and discuss. Um, the activity for this lesson are two... Um, Two different experiments so looking at endothermic reaction as well as exothermic reaction um, and then you can talk about what you learned uh, more discussion questions for taking it further and then here is that additional section for the older students lastly at the end of every book um, there is a fun with chemistry final project so um, depending on what the book topic is they'll have different projects for this one um, they talk about, again, what you learned, took it further, and then there are various different chemical reactions that they will be doing um, several activities and experiments that then we'll be discussing and then they'll be presenting. So that is pretty much how the curriculum is laid out. I'm going to also show you a look inside the second book, which is the Properties of Matter. Okay, so this is a Properties of Matter book. Again, it's set up in the same way as the other one. This one has for units, experimental science, measuring matter, states of matter, classifying matter, solutions, food chemistry. So those are all the topics that will be covered within the course. Again, they explain how it's set up. It's in the same way. Um, and then I'll show you a look inside of a couple of the lessons. So this is lesson two. It goes over the scientific method. How do scientists do it? So again, they have words to know, talking about what is a scientist. And then here are the activities. Again, this is an experiment, um, but again, it could also be um, a worksheet or another type of, of activity. So it'll lay that out for you. And then talking about what we learned, taking it further. And then here is that additional section. In this case, it's design your own experiment um, for the older students. All right, going a little deeper into the book, we have lesson 18, which is on water, God's compound for life. Um, so the properties of water, challenge words, um, talking about what we learned, taking it further. And then here is um, a section on water recycling for the older students to work on and an experiment for them to do. So this curriculum can honestly be done independently. So if you want to, if you have older students or students that work very well independently, you could have them kind of work through this on their own and just follow up with them as you see fit. Um, in our case, we really enjoy the discussions. So we read through this together um, and, and then talk about it. And then they'll work on their worksheets or on their experiments kind of a little more independently or, well, the experience will kind of do together, but their worksheets they will work on it more independently.
sell. That's just a look inside some of them. Look, making ice cream. I'm definitely going to look forward to that day. And um, so it's really great. It's really hands-on, um, but also a textbook, more traditional format. So depending on your family's um, homeschooling style, your children's learning style, you'll have to see whether this would work well for you and for them. And again, at the end, there is a final project that they'll be working on, and there is an additional project for the older students. Okay, as I mentioned, the worksheets and the um, tests for this course are a free download. So I downloaded those, I printed it, and I just kind of store it into this binder. So what I have is I've laid out the atoms and molecules um, in this first section, and then the properties of matter in the second section. So I'll show you a few samples of the worksheets for the atoms and molecules. So we've already done a couple of them. See if I can angle this a little better for you. Let's see. Um, so here is an idea of some of the worksheets. So learning about the elements, naming the ion, bonding characteristics. Again, endothermic, exothermic. So I showed you a look inside that lesson. This is one of the worksheets that goes along with that acid and base reaction. So these are all of the worksheets that your students will be using. And then after that, we have the quizzes and the final exam. So at the end of every unit, um, there is a quiz. So I'll show you on the inside. So quiz one is after lessons one through four, which is unit one. So this is the quiz for, for that. And I have two copies because I just kind of put it together for my two sons. Again, quiz two will be for unit two. So I printed those just all ahead of time just to have it ready for the year. All right, so these are the worksheets and labs for the second book, which is the Properties of Matter. And again, very similar. Conducting Heat, the Scientific Method, which was that second lesson that I showed you a look at. Uh, mass and Weight, Conservation of Mass. So here is just a few of those worksheets. It really helps it because after we've talked about it and discussed things verbally, then they're able to go and do this and um, do these worksheets to help solidify, especially if you have a read and write learner, which I do have one, um, being able to you know read something but then write it down really helps things connect for him. So again, you'll wanna decide whether you wanna do all of these or just some of these. And definitely with homeschooling, you have the flexibility to make that decision. All right, so then the last section again are the units and quizzes for properties of matter. So here is that. And actually, let me flip back because I wanted to show you at the end of each book, there is a final exam. So it covers the material from the entire book. So, this is, so the nice thing about this, and I'll just mention it quickly, because they have a final exam that goes with just one book, you may choose to just take one of these books and do a unit study and just go a little deeper. If you're doing, want to do a full unit on matter, you can do that. Um, so I like to have them in this separate format because it gave me that flexibility. All right, the last thing I wanted to show you a look inside are the teacher supplements. So this is the teacher supplement book and what it has you um, it has the introduction um, this is something that's similar I believe in all of the different God's design books it has the answer key for all of the um, the different sections in the book a resource guide a master supply list and the works cited section so again here is the introduction how they teach science okay so taking a look at unit one this is lesson one so here it tells you a supply list that you'll need for that lesson um, supplies for that challenge section for the older students and then here are the answers for the what we learned and taking it further sections and again same thing with lesson two supply list supplies for challenge tells you if you need a worksheet and then the answers that go along with that so it's pretty much just like an answer key and then again the quizzes so it's also included here so you have your answer key for the workbook text as well as for all the quizzes and the final so if you go, I go to the back, I can show you um, the resource guide, additional resources if you wanna add in suggested books, field trip ideas, 
Um, so that's really great in case you want to add that in. And then here's just a master supply list of all the supplies that you'll need for the course in case you want to see that all together kind of up front. And here is then the Properties of Matter Teacher Supplement. Um, same thing, laid out in the same way. The one on volume, supply list, supplies for challenge, what did you learn, taking it further. So this is pretty much how it's laid out. Okay, so that is a look inside the GAS Design for Chemistry and Ecology of Curriculum. Two things that I forgot to mention. The first is that within the books, they also have these special feature sections where they feature different scientists um, that were, you know, made big strides in the specific field of science. So this is really great. That's also included in the curriculum. And second, there is also a glossary. So in the end of the book, there's a glossary and also a challenge glossary for the older students. So those are two additional great little um, bonuses or pieces of the curriculum. Any questions that you have, please leave in the comments below. Also, if you'd like to see a look inside maybe the God's Design for Life, the anatomy book that we did last year, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that for you. I pray that you and your family are well, that you're blessed, and that you have a wonderful school year. I'll talk to you soon.